Good morning, everybody. Happy 200th birthday. <laughs> well, I can't believe it. 200 episodes. Who would have thought I did not? <laughs> I really thought that uh, I'd come up with five ideas and then that would be it. But it looks like Spirit's got a little something uh, different for us because we're all here and we're together. And I love this time that we get to talk each morning and get together and have this, have this time, right? Good morning, Brooklyn. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. I love to see everybody piling in. This is fun. So, I got some balloons, we're going to celebrate, and uh, good morning, Stephen. Yeah, Ivana made a cute little banner, so we have everybody, everybody here. So, raise, raise your cup, and if you want to share, please share. Let's get this out. But today, we're going to talk about um, commitment. Good morning, Yoli. We're going to talk about commitment. We're going to talk about what does that mean? And I, I've kind of talked about it before, but, you know, in having this 200th episode, it became so clear the level of commitment all of this takes from all of us, right? Each and every one of you tune in each day just as much as I show up. So we're committed. Good morning, Lori. We've committed. We've kind of built this relationship together. And in our lives, we all have these relationships and we have to decide, are they committed relationships or are they not? Are they relationships that we move forward with or are they relationships that really don't have that potential, that don't have that dedication and that commitment that is, is needed? Because, you know, it's hard to, because we're always talking about boundaries and setting your boundaries and so at that point, we can let people go, right? But commitment, relationships, they take a lot of work. It's not super easy all of the time. Oh, thank you. I know, Linda, can you even believe it? 200. So it's fantastic. But, you know, look at your life and look at what you're doing and the relationships in it. It's a fine line between throwing someone out the door <laughs> And committing and, and saying, wait a second, we're going to be different. We have to compromise. Um, and, and that's the key. It's, and the older we get, it, it, sometimes it is harder to compromise because you're set in your ways. You're set in what you love. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Yes, it's my Rebel shirt. Look, this is from uh, Marsha. She, she makes shirts. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is my shirt. Yes, uh, was made for me. And... Um, so look at the life you're doing. Look at what you're living. Look at the relationships in it. How are you committing to those? At what level are you contributing and are you showing up? Are you being there 100% or is it there only when it's good? And that doesn't mean we stay in unhealthy relationships. That doesn't mean we stay in negative relationships. But we do have to say, am I committing? Am I going the extra mile when I can, you know, not what am I getting out of it? Uh, what can I give? What can I do with it? Right. And ask yourself, let me know, show me hearts. If you've been in a relationship or in a relationship now, where are you committing or is there trouble with commitment? Are you deciding if it's right? Because it's okay to ask yourself those questions. It's okay to be curious about it. It's okay to say, am I committing or is this person committing to me? You know, are you in something where you're giving, giving, giving and that commitment isn't returned to you? That commitment isn't reciprocated. You know, hi, Jackie. Woo, woo. <laughs> We're at 200. We did it. We're doing it. So looking at where you are, looking at um, what do you want in your life? And I tell you, in order to have commitment, we have to commit first. And when you've been hurt, yay, Brownie, when you've been hurt, when you've been let down, you know, any of those relationships, if, if anything has happened where that person has let you down, it really makes it difficult for you to commit moving forward. You can't let that get in your way. Don't let those past relationships dictate your future 
future relationships. We can learn and grow, but we're not meant to shut down. We're not meant to close down our heart, okay? And through this, through each day, you know, it's not always easy. Some days we're all tired. I'm tired. Some days I'm just like, oh, I just want to relax. And you know what? I got to put on my lips and we got to be here. We got to have a cup of coffee because I said I was going to be here. And keeping your word is so important. People are going to pay attention to your word. They're going to pay attention if you flake on them. They're going to pay attention if you follow through on what you're doing. They're going to pay attention. Attention if you show up when you say you're going to show up. So show up because by you showing up, by you doing your part, you're going to tell the universe, you bring me that. You tell the universe, I, I need this as well. I'm, I need this and uh, I'm not going to settle for anything less, right? So thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. And here's the thing. <clears throat> and I really appreciate all of these, I really appreciate all of these congratulations. I do. But, you know, it's it's actually not me. You know, the, at the end of the day, if y'all, you, you guys didn't show, I was getting ready to say y'all. <laughs> My channeling some southern spirit guide here. <laughs> but if you didn't show up. If you didn't share like you share, if you didn't tell people, if you weren't subscribing, I, this wouldn't be possible. We wouldn't be at 200. So congratulations to you guys for committing. Thank you to you guys. Thank you for being a part of this with me. Because, you know, again, I had this idea. When this started, I had this idea, you know, it... I was tired of listening to all this other people. And I said, you know, I want to go to the people because I think we all have stuff we're dealing with. I think we all are trying to get through this thing called life. And we're trying to do it the best way we can. We're trying to be good people. We're trying to do the right thing. But ultimately, you let someone down. Ultimately, someone gets upset. Ultimately, they think there's ulterior motives. Whatever it is, we can't worry about that but it happens and so uh that's <laughs> that's my y'all sorry <laughs> but uh abigail's taking it she's like that's mine um but the thing is is so this whole idea came from we all need some motivation. We all need some inspiration. We all need a little positivity in our life. Good morning, Nancy. Um, well, Betty, if you don't like the lipstick, you don't have to look at it. <laughs> the lipstick's not going. Sorry. Um, I love it. So, and the thing is, is when we do this when we show up and when we say to people let's come together then we can then we can build this community together then we can build this tribe where we're all here and we're all committing to one another okay and that's just what we do that's exactly what we do and that's exactly what you're doing 200 episodes later you're committing so for any of you who think you're not commitment uh, that you're, you're commitment phobes you're not you can commit <laughs> when I thought I was a commitment phobe I'm not I can commit so what I want you to do is take this um, Exactly. Thank you. It is committing to the positivity. It is committing to, uh, because it's easy to be negative Nellies. It's easy to be naysayers. It's, you know, and, but when we show up and when we bring positive light to it, we bring a sense of hope. We can bring a sense of, um, oh, that's all right, Betty. It's okay. I am pale. <laughs> It's all right. I appreciate it. Don't worry about it. Um, I love it. <laughs> so, um, I, my grandmom hates it too. So, <laughs> I think it's the light that I have today. But I'm working on a new lighting system, so it should it should uh, it should get there. <laughs> um, but here's the deal, you guys. I want you to celebrate yourself. I want you to. Be who you are. I want you to get out there today. Here's what I want. Here's what you can do. 
you can share that's how you can say thank you you can share and you can share that's what you can do if you share that's what I love all right now here's what we can do I want you today I want you uh, <laughs> Tracy's like she's not as pale as she looks today <laughs> You guys are really funny. It's just the lighting. I, I'll say, let's just get over how I look. Let's just focus on the message. Um, because here's the deal. What I want you to do, I want you to get out there. I want you to get out there today, and I want you to commit to something. Say one thing in your life, and I want you to commit to it. I want you to be a part of it. I want you to get out there. I want you to hold your head up high. I want you to share some light, share some of your beautiful light, and I want you to commit to one thing today. Commit to one thing, okay? So, no, no, that's all right, Betty. Don't worry about it. Um, I want you to commit to one thing today. I want you to shine your light committing to one thing in honor of our 200th episode of Coffee with Colby. All right, so have a beautiful day, have a fabulous day, and I will see you guys. <laughs> I love it. Stephen commits to episode 201. That is awesome, Stephen. Thank you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Shine your beautiful light. Thank you, G. Love you guys. Bye.